Greetings, you two. Chunks of Earth here. How are you? I'm broadcasting from the new command center uh, in our bedroom with the new C920 Logitech, which I like a lot. Okay, I'm mainly making this video because I'm extremely angry, and this video really is just for me. So if you watch it and like it, thanks. If you don't like it, I apologize. I was in blog TV just a few short moments ago in a channel that I go to once in a while, a friend of mine, and the co-host was somebody I've never really seen before, but we were talking about cooking, healthy eating, the channel owner wanted to lose weight. He had high blood pressure in his early th 30s or high cholesterol. And I was trying to turn him on to this China study book that I've been reading and give him a little little help out. It's not really a, a, a way of life diet or a fad diet. It's more of just being aware and doing the right thing and trying to avoid the temptation of convenience and the lie of, of, of the nutritional effects. Anyway, so said something about Walmart and anybody who knows me knows how much I hate Walmart that I will never shop there under any circumstances that I can possibly think of it would have to be a very dire emergency for and the reason I won't shop there is many many reasons and I can go that into another video this I want to focus on just just this thing taking place so I urged the host not to, to shop at Walmart and he agreed he, he didn't really like it but it was more of a matter of convenience he understood where I was coming from his co-host who the whole time that I was in the show maybe a half an hour the co-host was s smoking weed which no big deal you know puffing on a hookah nice bowl and was making very sophomoric type of jokes which we've all been there but then he started berating me for my hatred of Walmart and I'm in text I can't even say anything so I'm limited at, at, at how I can defend myself but the statement that really bothered me the most was that here is this white early 30s pothead with I couldn't really tell if he had all his teeth or not but but I don't know from the Midwest, and he was giving me shit about why you shouldn't shop at Walmart through their business practices and the fact that the people that work at Walmart are so poor that they get food stamps because Walmart will not pay a decent living wage. And his response was, you're going to save the world all by yourself. You're going to beat Walmart. You're going to save the world against Walmart. And he just kept saying it over and over and over again. And since I was in text and I, I couldn't adequately express myself in context, I just left the room. And I, and I walked away thinking, why the fuck am I trying to help this motherfucker? Why do I even give a shit? whether this asshole lives or dies. He doesn't give a fuck about himself. He's the people the Republicans are talking about. That if you're too stupid to know what the fuck is going on around you, then you might as well just just stay ignorant. We don't want to change we don't want to challenge your deeply held beliefs. And why? Why do I if this guy does not give a shit and is completely Stupid. Why do I care to make his life better? Why do I care to bring him around? He doesn't want to know the truth. He doesn't want to know that, that he's a part of the problem. He doesn't want to know that he's contributing to the problem. That, that's more difficult for him to grasp than putting it one man against the corporations. So I'm just going to go about my business and do what I love. And uh, I'll choose where 
and when I express myself. But that, I thought that was our job, to help others, to, to bring people up and to inform and educate and make those around us aware. Because I didn't want to stay ignorant, and I appreciated the people that took the time and the trouble to educate me. And yes, I was a bit resistant, but to, in 2012, to not be aware of, of how horrible Walmart's business practices, business model, and what they have done to ensure that the poor stay poor and that the people are paying them to maintain that level of poverty and destroy businesses and destroy the middle class and destroy everything and ship shit over from China and then have the audacity to call themselves a successful American business. Those people are are doomed. There, there is no hope. And those are the ones who are going to vote GOP because the black guy must be wrong. And Walmart, where I live, is full of white people. I don't know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be putting things like that in people's mouths. But, but that was the impression I got, and and it really angers me. It's fighting a losing battle. We're not getting smarter with all this exposure to information and technology and 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 the ability, the access to contribute. To just sit there behind a bong and. And pretend the people that are helping you are the problem. I didn't have time to ask him who he was voting for, but uh, I can assume. Anyway, that's my rant for today. I need to make more videos. I just been I've been really bummed out with with the last couple of weeks with what's going on. It really does seem like I'm in another world. I'm in a completely different world. And I'll get more to that later. I'm Chunks of Earth, and so are you. And I understand why there's a war on poverty and ignorance. And why it's easy to fuel those people. Keep them stupid. They work much better that way than questioning and developing critical thinking skills. That's, that's of no interest. Peace, everyone.